Hello, my name is Rex Busterfield, and this is a, an introduction and overview of the Qualcomm Ass. Uh, hey, stop giggling. It means analog sounding synthesizer. I built the Ass so that I could explore uh, and listen to the difference between uh, a, a full analog emulation based on my experience back from the 70s when I used to make uh, electronic analog uh, synthesizers and uh, digital systems which are often described as not being good as analog or being cold or harsh or whatever. So um, you can switch between uh, the two types of system here. Um, so this is the analog and this is the digital equivalent so the question must arise as to what digital uh, system do you compare with what analog system um, so I've provided a trimmer panel here where you can set up all sorts of different parameters for the analog emulation and also go back to earlier type of digital systems with a liaised oscillators uh, uh, different filter types and bit reduction and so on so you can compare uh, any two settings that you care to set up on this trimmer panel Now, of course, the effects themselves also went through a development from analog to digital. So I've provided some uh, effects here, uh, which can be, many of them can be switched between a digital and an analog emulation mode. So you can hear the effect of switching between those two. And this switching is independent of the analog to digital uh, switch on the front panel so you could have a digital a pure digital system with uh, analog effects added should you wish to in order to uh, replicate some of those highly favored old uh, modular synthesizer sounds I've provided a 16 step sequencer here where you can adjust the pitch offset and the filter settings for each step. Um, there's a lot you can do with this uh, sequencer. And while I'm on that subject, the download includes a user reference guide which explains every control on the system and goes into detail and also some background uh, information on the choices made and the, uh, the settings available. The final view available is what I call the system, the settings that affect the whole machine. So we can set the number of voices for polyphony, uh, mono should we want to, um, the uh, stolen note um, priority, pitch pen range, so on and so forth. There's an LFO for pitch modulation and we can tune the instrument here. All the information about this is in the user reference guide. The so-called topology or the structure or signal routing, whatever you want to refer to it as, is heavily influenced by that of probably the most famous music synthesizer ever, which is the Moog Mini Moog, of course. Um, so much so that in the download I've included the operator manual for the original one and the reissued version. Um, basic synthesis stuff so you shouldn't have any problem understanding that. And I've had great fun uh, reproducing, recreating a lot of classic Moog synthesizer patches together with some more uh, of my own. So I'm gonna run through the presets and they're all on the analog mode and uh, just enjoy and see what you think.
So there you go, and I hope you get some fun playing with my ass. Oi! <laughs>